Amber Thurman died in 2022 after she was unable to get a legal abortion in Georgia and did not receive timely medical care. The state's Maternal Mortality Review Committee recently concluded that her death was preventable. Amber showed up at the Piedmont Henry Hospital after she'd taken abortion pills and experienced a rare complication. She had not expelled all of the fetal tissue from her body. She was in need of a DNC a routine procedure to clear the tissue from her uterus. But just that summer, her state criminalized the procedure. Any doctor who violated the new law could face up to a decade in prison. Amber waited in pain in a hospital bed as doctors monitored her infection spreading, her blood pressure sinking, and her organs beginning to fail. It took doctors 20 hours to finally operate. By then, it was too late. Amber was an otherwise healthy 28-year-old medical assistant and mother of a six-year-old son. She had just moved into her own apartment with a gated community and a pool and had plans to enroll in nursing school. She would have turned 31 this week. ProPublica reached out to the hospital and to the doctors involved with Amber's care. They did not explain their thinking or why they decided to wait to perform a DNC. A committee of experts said that in Amber's case, the delay had a large impact. If she had received the DNC right away, there was a good chance that she would have survived. The Food and Drug Administration approved mifepristone, or the abortion pill, 25 years ago, so there's an extensive record of safety with this drug. Out of nearly 6 million women who've taken it, 32 deaths were reported through 2022. Of those, 11 involved deadly infections. Amber had to drive out of state to North Carolina to receive the pills. Amber's case marks the first time an abortion-related death, officially deemed preventable, is coming to public light. Amber and a second woman, Candy Miller, who also died in Georgia in 2022, died because they couldn't access legal abortion or timely medical care in their state. You can read on our website our past reporting about how abortion bans have delayed medical treatment for patients with pregnancy complications. Head to the link in our bio to read our full investigation into Amber's death.